So what you're looking at here, I've got a little video. I've got, I'm using my webcam on my MacBook Pro, and it's kind of be this will be interesting, but we'll see what we can do. So here we're looking at my Droid 2, and when you're going to debug or deploy to the device, you have to set a few things. And so the first thing we need to do is we've got the phone and we're going to, and I haven't plugged it in yet, but I want to go ahead and click the settings button. And here, actually the menu, what did I say? Settings, menu, it's all the same. Then I want to choose the settings option. Now, notice for the settings, uh, what we want, there are a couple of things we need to do. First, we need to come in here and under applications, we need to make sure that we have this unknown sources checked. And the reason for that, we want to be able to install apps that haven't been signed and are not in the Google or any other store. And so we need to have unknown sources checked so that we can install that without any trouble. All right, so we got that. The other thing we need to do is go ahead and click on development. And under development, uh, we want to make sure we have USB debugging checked. And then you can always go ahead and have the stay awake checked. I like that one because when it's plugged in, well, you know, it's not going to go to sleep on you. I may go to sleep, but that's a little different. All right. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and plug it in. So again, of course, I'm looking at my phone sideways, upside down, and I'm going to plug this in. And we plug it in. Now, notice what's happened, if you can see this. Notice at the top that it says USB connected. And if I scroll down, notice it says USB debugging connected. Now, that's what we want to see, that right there. USB connected, USB debugging. Now, one thing you can always check, um, if you're on a Windows machine, you may run into some problems. Uh, Windows machines always have problems, but there's not much we can do about that. Because obviously Steve Jobs didn't make it, so <laughs> uh, you're on your own. All right, so with that, uh, Go ahead and select USB connection. Now, uh, what we're looking for, uh, we want to make sure we are on charge only. That's a good way to be. We don't want to be in PC mode or Windows Media Sync. And we can have trouble sometimes with USB mass storage. On the Mac and on Windows, you shouldn't have too much trouble if you've already installed the device drivers on Windows. You should recognize it. The Mac will recognize it and has no trouble. I haven't had any trouble with them. But on Windows, if you haven't installed the device drivers, uh, sometimes it won't recognize the device. So that's something to look at. So for this one, I'm just going to use it as charge only. That way it keeps everything nice and clean. And we choose OK. All right, so that's enough with the phone. Now let's look over at the code. So remember how we had a runtime configuration? If I go over here and I select Run Configurations, then what I want to do is change this now to device. Now remember, the device is still connected, right? You can see my little USB cable sticking out there. So go ahead and select on device and then go ahead and choose run. Now, if all is well, I want to click the home button over here and let's see what happens. What's happening? Hey, 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 look at that. If everything runs well, then it's going to be, it'll be on. Notice we have our button. We have our checkbox. Let's check the checkbox. Cool. And I have fat fingers, so that's how that works. And then we have a button. Hey, hey Brent, what's up? All right, so hopefully this is where you're at. Hopefully you have a phone jammed up against your MacBook Pro with the eyesight camera staring at it. And it works. See, just like that. All right. So if you had any problems, we're going to help you. If you find that things aren't working, go ahead and leave a comment and we'll try to follow up with uh, answering those comments. So hopefully you can figure it out. But that's the basics of getting an app to run on the device.